Hello everyone, welcome to another Schiller tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of some of the key features and upgrades introduced in the brand new ECM Titanium 3.18. One of the first things you'll notice is the completely redesigned user interface. Not only are the buttons sharper with cleaner icons, but the most significant upgrade is right here in the center of the screen, which are. We now have a dual view layout, one for your working project and the other for a comparison project. And this is a world first for ECM Titanium. With this new version, you can now compare two completely different vehicles side by side. Of course, as long as they're similar models. For today's example, we're comparing a McLaren 570S with a Bosch ME17 with another McLaren 570S. ECUs are the same. Power output, similar software structure, not the exact same driver, but close enough for accurate comparison. On the left side, you'll see our original file is already open with the software number and the driver name displayed at the top along with all the standard tuning maps. To load our comparison file, we can either browse our computer like in previous ECM versions, or thanks to ECM 3.18, we can now pull it directly from our project database. So let's do that. We'll go to project, choose the McLaren 570S, same ECU type. And now we have the ability to select which modified file we want to load. This is a big improvement. The database has been streamlined, letting us manage files better and even export mods directly from the screen. We'll select our performance tuned file, Schiller Stage 1 Tune, and load it up. Down here on the left, you'll now see our original file and our modded file side by side. Right away, we can spot differences. Those little dots in the map show where values have been changed. Let's open up one of these, for example, the RPM limiter. And I'll show you how to copy data across. All we do is press Control plus C to copy the selected area. It stays highlighted so you don't lose track. Now open the corresponding map in the original file. It auto selects the same area and press Control plus V to paste. You'll see the changes applied right away. But here's the important part. To make sure these changes, click Confirm. This locks the change in place and closes the map safely. If you accidentally hit Cancel instead, the edit won't be saved. Once confirmed, the other options are grayed out to prevent misclicks. And that's it. The mod is now copied over. By the way, the area we copied from stays highlighted even after the map is closed. To clear that, just go to File Cancel Copy and it'll reset. From here, it's just a rinse and repeat process for the rest of your maps. But there's more. Let's talk about the 2D graphic view, which is now more powerful than ever. In the lower section, we see our comparison project. Let's scroll to find some differences. Perfect, here in the torque request during standard takeoff. You can simply right-click. Then right-click again to highlight the area you want to copy. Now, here's the cool part. You can align the charts. Watch how it shifts the bytes slightly This aligns the map data between both projects. Now, when you go to the original file and paste the changes, everything lines up perfectly. 
It's crucial to align the maps first before copying. It ensures accuracy. So, one, highlight the data. Two, check the alignment. Three, choose your copy mode, whether absolute changes, increments, or percentages will use changes here, four, and paste. Simple as that. Now, let's say the maps weren't aligned. We can actually highlight a section, and ECM Titanium will try to auto-match and align the corresponding section in the other file for you. This is a fantastic feature that really improves efficiency. Part of the major upgrades in ECM Titanium 3.18. With this new version, you can copy-paste data both in the traditional table view and in the powerful 2D graphic mode. It makes performance upgrades, like moving from lower to higher horsepower configurations, faster and easier than ever. Literally, just a few clicks and you're done. Now, a quick note about hardware. If you're still using the older dongle style, you'll need to upgrade to the new black and yellow dongle to take full advantage of ECM 3.18. This new dongle is faster, has more storage, and is fully optimized for the latest software. So, if you've got the old one, upgrade it. If you've already got the new one, make sure your subscription is active. An active subscription means you'll get ECM 3.18 included automatically. If not, you'll need to renew. Feel free to reach out to us and we'll help you get set up with the correct dongle and subscription. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch and stay tuned for more updates and training content from the Schiller team.